A young artist asked me, which do you prefer, abstraction or realism? In a way, it's a fruitless question because all painting is abstract at its core, especially paintings from nature. Nowhere is this more true than in a seascape. You have the horizon line, the jagged rocks, the open sea, across the two-dimensional canvas, those shapes, those colors play out in opposition to each other. The pale green of the foam underwater. And the duller gray of the far ocean. The challenge that every realist painter faces is how to translate those abstract patterns and textures into equivalent textures in the crude material of paint. Nature provides a limitless well of inspiration to draw from. And the rich, raw materials of these abstract ideas not only include the two-dimensional shapes on the rectangular canvas or page, but also the three-dimensional depth of space and light and time and water and gravity. These elemental forces play out in relationship to each other. So we have the foam rings above the green water and the long, straight, settled bank of foam a little ways offshore. One abstract principle I love finding in nature is the self-similarity of fractals, where large rock shapes are repeated in ever smaller rock forms, and big waves are repeated in smaller and smaller waves. The abstract patterns of nature are happening not only in space and form and color, but also in time. And I have to try to freeze time. Should I freeze it here? Or should I let it go longer and pick a moment from here? All painting is at its heart abstract. But when painting from nature, we're called into the deeps, into the mysteries that are impossible to capture. All we can do is try to get in tune with them. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.